Welcome back to another exercise in SOLIDWORKS. Today we are going to create this table with the help of SOLIDWORKS weldment tools. So this is the tool table dimensions are in millimeter and profile dimensions are in inches. Okay. So let's check first profile. Now the table dimension 500 by 1000 millimeter. The vertical length of this table 800. Now here 200 millimeter. And you will see the distance is located at the center of profile. So we will create this first with the help of 3D model, 3D sketch. So right click on tab, go to tabs and here activate solve weldments. If you go to weldments, you will find option here 3D sketch. So click 3D sketch. Now activate here center rectangle. Okay. Now. First, press tab key to change this direction. 1, 2, 3 and see this Z or X direction. If I am going to click here and see this circle, okay. Escape key to exit. Now, click this one and we have to define the direction for or constraint. So, this is going to be Z axis and if I am going to choose this one and this is, you will see this red axis x so choose here along x now activate the smart dimension tool now define this one 500 okay and this one 1000 millimeter okay now again activate line tool now let's draw now see the dimension going like this so press tab key in keyboard and see it is going upward. So take downside, escape key to out again, press L key in your keyboard and activate line tool. Let me draw, right click exit or press escape key again press or even though if you just press your left mouse and you will see activate line tool, right click exit again. Now, let me activate the smart dimension and this vertical length is 800 millimeter. Okay. Now, let's do one more thing. Hold shift key and select this all vertical lines and define a constraint or relation. You will see at left bottom equal. Look, all are equal. Again, I am going to activate rectangle, corner rectangle. Just start from this corner to, okay, press tab key to make the direction. This is also not suitable. Again, press tab key. Now, this is perfect. Now, move your cursor to this line. Click smart dimension. Now, distance 200. Still, this is not defined. So, again, you have to define the path or direction. Now, this is going to be Z along z axis now select this one and here see along x axis okay it is fully defined now here it's time to define this profile now here first profile is angle at the top you will see l 20 20 the profile are in inches 2 by 2 inch 0.5 and this is located at center so i'll show you this how then there is a square tube 2 by 2 inch these all vertical go to weldments finish activate structural member first inches angle and now here the size this is the r size 2 by 2 now in group, you have to select either continuous or parallel. So, I am going to choose continuous line. Look, but first you have to modify this one. 270 degree. Okay, that's perfect. Locate profile. I told you this is going to be at center. So, what I am going to choose this one. Look this.
that's it. Now again going to choose this line. That's perfect. Now look at the corner treatment. These are the four lines what we selected. Now apply corner treatment meter. This is going to be apply. Say yes. Now let's see the corner. Look. Again activate a structural member because this time we are going to choose another size. We can't choose two size, two different profiles in one feature. Inches. Now this time square tube and the tube also is 2 by 2. Let's choose this. Now see perfectly it's going to be a line. See. Now parallelly select all four. Okay. Now the next again activate pipe. Schedule 1.5 and I am going to choose 1, 2, 3, 4. Now here you don't need to define anything, say OK. Now the problem is pipe goes inside, you will see here, so we have to trim. Click trim and extend. Keep this one as it is bodies to be trimmed. So which bodies we want to trim? Select the body 1, 2, 3, 4. Now here select boundary, body. These are the boundaries because this is going to cut up to this body. Okay. Now here comes down. Here choose this one. Look. Allow extension up to the profile. Don't choose this one. Now let's see which body. Okay, this profile going to keep. This is also going to keep. This is also going to keep. Okay. That's fine. Say okay. Now look the corner. See, the profile is perfectly cut. If I am going to right click, select isolate. Now look. The profile is perfectly cut and placed at center exit. Now you will see here the profile schedule 40 1.5 diameter. Okay. Now there is a one table top. I will show uh, we will create one table top. Then there is a one gusset gussets 200 100 by 100 into 20. It means this is polygonal 10 mm thickness. Okay. Then the next gusset is 100 by 110 mm thickness. Just check where this location. Okay, see these are the polygonal and these are the rectangle, these two corner. Okay. Now click this face, sketch. Now activate corner rectangle and we are going to start take from this corner to this corner. Okay. Now here also you will find feature extruded boss base simply activate and you can define the thickness 5 millimeter ok. Now everything is defined so you can hide this 3D sketch. Let's define the profile cassette. Now, I am going to choose these two faces, one, two. Look, this is very small. First, we have to choose polygonal, 100 by 100. And this one, 20 millimeter. It's shown 45 as normal. And thickness both side, 10 millimeter. Now, here is the location. Location is located at the center of profile. So, this is located at the center of profile. If you choose one end, see it moves. Another end, but I am going to choose center. Say OK. Look. Uh, 
again activate gusset. Now this time I am going to choose polygon, uh, rectangular, 100 by 100, mid, position also here under, now choose these two. Now look, okay, this is perfect position to see. This is going to fix at the center of this pipe. Say okay. Now again, gusset. Now this time I am going to choose this profile and this pipe. But 100 by 100. Now here you have to choose location. So I am going to choose this, this side. See. By default, it is at center. But if you want to make any offset, click offset. Let's say 10 millimeter. Anything like 5 millimeter, but unchecked and it will be remain at center. Say OK. That's it. Now let's mirror. First, you have to choose a plane. Let's say right plane, mirror plane. Now the bodies. So I am going to choose 1, 2, and 3 say yes it's mirror again activate mirror tool now this time i am going to choose reference plane front plane now i am going to choose bodies it, it makes easy for us but in bodies we have to choose all the bodies separately say yes see it's mirror now at the bottom you will see end cap 3 times thickness ratio. Remember this 3 times thickness ratio. 3 times thickness ratio, all corners are 5 millimeter. Okay. And this is red. Let's choose go to weldments. Activate end cap. If I am going to choose this one. Now here we need to take outward because in pro in red drawing it is outward 10 mm thickness and uh, see here thickness ratio if I am going to choose one it is inside it's going to be one this ratio considered as the thickness of profile see reverse but we choose three times the thickness of profile reverse direction corner fillet we considered 5 millimeter see okay look simply we can mirror this mirror let's say front and choose this okay again activate mirror tool now the reference plane I am going to choose right plane. Now bodies to mirror I am separately choose both. Selected here bodies to mirror say OK. And that's it. Click here and here select extruded boss base and change the color red so that we can identify easily. See. This is the simple example of SOLIDWORKS weldment. If you, even though if you check here all the cut lists, see all profile, tubes, pipe and here plate, this gussets, bottom gussets and end cap. So I hope you like it. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.